current statistics indicate that nearly half the world's population lives in poverty, defined as less than two US dollars a day, and that one in six people live in extreme poverty, less than a dollar twenty-five. But poverty is not actually just about a lack of money. It's about a lack of opportunities, a lack of choices, a lack of access to all sorts of things that many of us consider essential to life. Poverty is about a lack of hope. Poverty doesn't have just one facet, and so we cannot fight poverty with just a single solution. And understanding this is at the core of Compassion's Holistic Child Development Program. Picture all the different aspects of your life, your family, your work, your home, your faith, your community, as spokes on a wheel. And then think about what might happen if one of those spokes were broken or missing. It's no different for children living in poverty. If they are to develop and thrive, the spokes that make up their lives need to be strong and uniform. It's what drives Compassion's holistic approach, focusing on the spiritual, economic, social, and physical needs of every child in our program. Children like Junior, a boy who has broken all the stereotypes. The main concern I have for my son is who his friends are going to be, because I'm worried that in the future he might have friends who are not going to share the same spiritual values that we have, and that might cause him to stray. God has been working in my life because now that I'm a young man, I can see that society is full of friends and classmates of mine who chose a different path. The project has been a blessing. Thanks to the presence of the project in this neighborhood, my son has been busy learning computer science and things about the church and God, which is really good. And there are other young people like Leah, a young woman intent on rewriting her future. Saya Ali Anggraini, saya anak LDP. Saya kuliah di UNI mengambil jurusan manajemen Fakultas Ekonomi. Ada satu ilmu yaitu ilmu ilmu dasar ekonomi yang terbunyi dengan modal yang minimal mendapatkan hasil yang maksimal. There are men and women like Lillian who have learned what it is to be truly loved. My mother died when I was three months old, and my father was kidnapped when I was five months old. I didn't value God so much because he had taken my parents, he had taken my joy as a child. Regardless of the fact that uh, I knew him, I hated him. When I was nine, compassion was my turning point. I was just told, smile, we are going to take a photo of you. I didn't know what it meant to smile. I smiled. They told me, there is someone in the world who loves you so much. I used to get letters. She would tell me, I love you so, so much and you're an inspiration to me. She helped me to hope for more. The blessing that you gave me is blessing many more. Thank you for what you did. And amazing stories like Eric's, a boy whose journey has been transformational. What I'm mostly receiving from the project is physical therapy for Eric. They are the ones that help him to start walking and talking. I feel happy because sometimes I'm ashamed when I go out with him that children stare as if he were something weird. My name is Nancy Ceballos. I've been working here for about nine years. When I first came here, I thought he wouldn't live longer than eight years. He couldn't walk or even stand by himself, but now he walks and even runs. Not only the people from church and the project love him, but everyone in the neighborhood. I tell people with a special needs child, don't give up, because God has given them a very special child. These children are the most wonderful thing. I'm very proud of my son and who he is. There is no question that poverty is a complex matter, and so solving it is complex too. 
Complex, but not impossible. We can end poverty. We are ending poverty, one story at a time.